In response to the bidding, Lord, in your mercy, please reply, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus and in the power of the Spirit, let us pray to God the Father. As we come to the end of 2020 and look towards 2021, let us remember the words from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not do you harm, plans to give you hope and a future, and let's thank God for this promise. Let us pray for a renewed sense of hope and a future to come from our church and its leaders. Justin Welby, Stephen Cottrell, Bishop Nicholas, Bishop Karen and Chris, Jeff and Mike here at Camford. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our country and leaders, for the Queen, Boris Johnson and Parliament, for our local councillors. As each area is affected by various different tiers, we pray for hope and a future. We pray for discernment and wisdom in all decisions. In a moment of silence, pray for those areas of the United Kingdom dearest to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the world, especially for areas of conflict. And let us pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Take a moment now to pray for the areas closest to your heart. Let us pray for wisdom and discernment for all in authority and that your sovereign will be done throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are ill in body, mind or spirit, and for those who've recently been bereaved. Let us pray especially for those for whom this season of goodwill has been anything but that. Let us pray that the vaccine against Covid will be effective with minimal side effects or adverse reactions. In a moment of silence, let us lift all those on our hearts to the Lord. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.